Hello everypony, Artelisiana here. Link to my divinity art in the description below and also for my paved run. Warning, this video will contain chapter 5 of my night story, so if you haven't heard the others, I would recommend that you go to chapter 1. So, also warning, this is going to contain my personal story and opinions. So if you don't like My Little Pony stuff or fantasy stuff, click away or else stay. Yeah, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Chapter 5. The Rainbow Fades. Me and Justice leave the room to the next time. There will be 12 at the same time. Of course we need a dragon. One more, but this small? I think to myself, oh, it was a dragon I have called upon. Even if it was a pony, I think it should have worked. Agent Calf looked back at me. A chill runs down my spine. As all of a sudden, all of my power seemed to flow out of me until the circle, flow of colors, run away from my fur. Carve and Justice seemed to be my, at my side. Carve knowing what was going to happen, but Justice almost panicking. He looked at me and then at Carve. What happened? Why is she grey? Why is there no wings or horn? What is going on? Carve looked at Justice. This is Artelisiana's original form. She only takes it when she used all of her magic. And we have to wait a whole year now till she gets her strength back. Justice seemed to understand, but whispers, A whole year? Oh man, I hope she's going to be alright. Carve takes me and flies me to my room. I lay down and close my eyes. Justice follows and stands guard at my bed. Go out, Justice. He looks at me. I open my eyes. The only thing I want is the green light I see. This is the only color left. It was helping. In five minutes, my other new dragon knight showed himself in the door. He had been afraid, so sad, and now seeing me like this, he said softly, um, is it, it's not my fault, is it? I get my strength and a voice of some sort comes out of me. No, it's not. As he hears this, he comes to my bedside. Justice was coming in again, standing there too. Why did Carv leave? He all of a sudden said. He should be here. The voice again comes. No, no more. As the words come out, I feel a little bit better. Calf had a long flight away from him. Oh dear, all of that magic. I took, I look at my two new knights. Just as go and get the room ready. You only have one year and progress. Uh, go and practice your frame. I I'll be fine. As I said this, the two knights unwilling leave my room. Carve had to find her. The other elecon that was summoned had to. The spell was strong. He had thought that he didn't find her in time. No. He wasn't going to think about that again. As Carl flight down, she, he was looking after a white alicorn he knows. Tree colored mane so she shouldn't be that difficult to find. She was also going to be ready to start her trip from her own home to the circle. So Agent Carl walked the road over the hilltop before she knows why a big dragon was on the road. Carl had already taken her up and flies with her. As he was saying, hold on, the white 
Alicorn hangs on for dear life, and two days of flight time later, they are all at my doors. They come. Calves have been holding small bricks so they can get food or drink, but this time was perfect, just as long it was not more than 12 days for now. Calf tried to chat with the alicorn. She seemed only okay with all of it. She was pure white and had a yin and yang symbol as her cutie mark. Agent Calf follows her to my room. As she see me lay there, she can see the truth. See right through me. Alicorns have the special ability to know each other in another way than others do. And when she sees me, she don't understand. I try to speak, but she just walked up to my bed and looked at Calf and said, You need one more alicorn. The last one, black it seems, with red. As the alicorn speaks the words, Calf just flies off. I close my eyes. Not yet. As I lay, Justice come in by my side again. He looked at the white alicorns and say, I have never seen anything like this. She had green glowing colors, rainbow wings and a horn. She was an alicorn. I know it to be true. The white alicorn just goes out. When he see that, he knows that she can't help without the other alicorn also. The white alicorn thinks to herself, this one is unique. But why did she have to use all of her powers? The white alicorn go to the garden to get flowers. Justice does stand back to practice and I was still laying. No colors. Aging calf were flying again. The black alicorn should be in the mountains somewhere. As he flies, he looks carefully over each top that he sees. She should stand on the top. It was far away for even an alicorn to fly as long as he had been. He, she should be on the top. Carl was still looking. Couldn't see her, probably. She was on the top, maybe preparing, since she was called by Artelisiana. It should be normal, he thinks to himself. It, it, she must be on the top somewhere. He sees something on a top in the hillside along a way and flies down and sure enough it was her, the black one. The black and red alicorn look at Calf and just say, let's go. Calf hear this and look at her and just grab her and flies off. Not even warning her of the speed there would be. Fly, fly quicker. Calf just holds a break if he wanted this time. So after again two days, can Calf landed and think five days still good. The black alicorn finally has come. She would get some drink and water and food to eat. Oh my, it was a hard flight. In the garden, as she eats, they meet the white and the black alicorn in the center of the garden. The al white alicorn seemed happy to see her. The black one, calf, was inside my side, by my side and waiting. In the room, the two alicorns come in. End of chapter 5. So, I know this one was a little bit also messy. I'm sorry for that, but I'm still practicing and hoping that you guys still like the story. I will make um, more fan art of this so I can reload a story tomorrow. So do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And that was actually all. Yeah, okay. Bye.